Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video today. This is Savage Fishing here with... It'll Hot be in the link. Chase. It'll be in the link in the description below. But today, we uh, we just went to Dunham's last night. I don't know where you guys live, but it's Black Friday. So they had a lot of good deals. So um, we got a bunch of stuff last night for fishing. Ice fishing. So basically, we're going to put a time lapse of us. Set my shanty up. We got Iceman. Iceman. And then we got our little buddy heater. Keep us warm. You know, it's cold out here, guys. We live in northern Michigan. It's cold up here right now. Yeah. We just need some ice now. That, that's about all we need. But we're going to set this up, and we'll get back to you when we do that. Here's a little time lapse. Yo guys, so as you can see, it didn't take us that long to put it in. There's a little body heater. We got windows. These windows are actually nice. We'll go outside and we'll show you. We'll show you in a minute. But here these windows. It's like plastic. And then you got the little vents. So the carbon dioxide doesn't kill you. You know, I mean, that'd be fun. You're out ice fishing and carbon dioxide kills you, but all right, you guys might have seen a little sneak peek, but let's show you what it looks like from the outside. There we go. There we go. That looks nice. It's so it's so much warmer in there than it is out here. Like, you could actually be warm in there. It ain't cold at all. Um, I mean, it is a fishing shanty, but it took us not even five minutes to set up. So, if you guys are looking for a cheap, nice shanty, we only paid $120 for this shanty. Well, it was on sale, though, but still. We only paid $120, and it's a Iceman. It's a big person, and it's nice. It's a big, it's big inside. Let's go ask Chase about it. What do you think, Chase? It's awesome. I don't know if you guys are looking at this, but it's a nice shanty. But uh, in a little bit here, we're going to kind of chill, see how warm we can actually get it in here. And we're going to get our fishing stuff our actual poles and stuff and show you all that and show you our setup there so i'll see you guys in the next clip knock knock is there anyone in here oh shoot it's knocked over the buddy here bro. hi there's the ice fishing stuff ah yeah So first off, we got. They're gonna get the ice. Yeah, out of they're the water. get the slush out of the hole. Look how far this thing goes. It extends as well. Right there, little well, extending thing. Yeah, and you push twist it. it. Twist it for it to get tight. Um, we put eight pound eight pound test on all these poles, cause I don't think we're gonna get really anything big. And we got. Digital, uh, 25 pound digital scale for um, tournaments and stuff hooks and sinkers of course all right and then we'll each explain the poles we got and why we got them yeah so uh, we both got two poles i decided to get a cheap and an expensive one that's what we both did this is like 15 bucks it's a celsius spinning rod spinning reel and it's orange it's got the eight pound test on it Feels a little... Looks nice. It looks good. Feels a little cheap though, but that's because it's cheap. It is cheap. And I got the expensive a Berkeley. One. This is the expensive one. This is the Berkeley Heritage. The 5.2 ratio. It's actually, it's really nice. This is the nicest, this is the nicest spinning reel I've ever felt or used or whatever. For ice fishing. Yeah. It's uh... Got the eight pound test on it. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's a Berkeley too, so it's always good. Yeah. And that's really about it for the <coughs> for his the poles. Yep. And then we're gonna do Garrett's. Oh, and the thing is, show them that Celsius the one that the Celsius came with. The Celsius came with this. Uh, 
To be honest, I really don't know what the fuck We don't this know is. what it is, so if any of you guys know what it is, drop it down in the comments below, please, because we have no clue what it is. We couldn't figure it out, neither. But I'll explain you mine. Alright, so my first one, I'm going to start off with my cheap one, too. It's a 13 heat wave spinning rod and, spinning rod and real combo. Um, it's, it's nice, but as you guys can see right here, show them that. It's not connected, so like this one right here, it's connected through this, so you like you can unscrew it. This is just like two rubber bands, so like I noticed when we were putting the line on, it was like tipping like that, but I mean it's nice, it winds nice, don't get me wrong, but I wish that's the only thing I wish that they would have changed with this rod and reel combo. It's a nice rod and reel combo. God damn, I'm getting a lot of Snapchats. I know. Um, it's, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely the cheap one. And then I got the Ugly Stick Shakespeare Reel, Ugly Stick Rod. It's nice. This one's nice. The only thing is, when I bought it, this switch right here was flipped. And when that's flipped, this will spin both ways. Instead of just the way you reel, it'll spin this way too. So when that happens, all this line will come off. And next one. Well, let's show you another well, we'll show you outside. Another, another look outside, just in case. It is an ice man. It's like a hundred and thirty some bucks. It's regularly one sixty or one fifty. But it's really one good one. for the price. Really, really good for the price. Get the windows fucking off, but and yeah. But it's actually a really it's a really nice it's really easy and portable you can feel this you can feel the heat coming out here yeah you can feel how hot it is in there yeah it's, the heat comes right out here this is the vent so if you get like carbon monoxide or something you can open that up just in case you do and um when you're setting this up all you gotta do is pull these on each side and on the roof you pull these and they pop out and then that's all you gotta do it's not like sticking stakes in the ground or anything like that no it did come with some though. yeah it did come with stakes but it's not like we need to do that when we're out on the ice because what are we going to realistically drill it into we're not going to be anywhere for long portions of this time so these are all the specs i guess right here um these are the sizes dimensions this is channel so i can link it down below this but, is the portable buddy, Mr. Heater. It's what, like 50 bucks? Well, we paid, yeah, we paid 50 for it, but it's 99.99 regularly. Yep, and so. they had at Dunham's they had the four pack propane tanks. We should have brought one out here just to show them, but they had four pack propane tanks for 15 bucks. We bought two of them to keep stocked, and this so is our only one. More, but... I guess we'll catch you guys on the next video. Yep, we'll make one for. We're gonna make a video for Chase today. Um, so I can link his down in the description below. But other than that, it's been Savage Fishing and Outdoors with Chase. And we're signing out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.